Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Wellesley Weekly Podcast, the show where I talk about anything and everything. This week, I wanted to get something off my chest, and as you can tell by the title of the video, it's stuff that just shouldn't wind me up, but it does. Like, a lot. That's right, I'm going to talk about my pet peeves, and maybe some of my OCD habits that I like to call a bit quirky. Well, it's better to be quirky than, you know, not. <laughs> so, let's begin by talking about an important issue, right? And that is slow people, right? And I mean people walking slowly, not like slow people, right? The two different people, two different kinds of people. You know, there's people who just don't care that you have somewhere to be. Don't care that you're hogging up all the pathway. No, they're just strolling along without a care in the world. They have time to daydream about gumdrops and fairies and the whole shebang. But I don't. I have places to be, you know. People to see. Trains and buses to catch. Why do you think it's okay to walk slow, you know? And for those people who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry to say. But you need to walk faster because you're the people that are slowing me down, right? And I don't mean sprint everywhere like a madman, being chased by a bear or anything like that. Just pick up the pace a little bit, you know? Like, the speed you would go if you think you need the loo, but you're not too sure. So you walk a little quicker just in case you realise you actually do need to go. And then you have to make a mad dash for your own personal sanctuary of a toilet. Because nobody's doing it their business in public. Unless it's like a dire situation. <laughs> and it's not just people who walk slow either. It annoys me when bus drivers are slow as well. Like this one driver. I was waiting at the bus stop. About to go in for my live sound assessment. And the early bus didn't arrive. So about half an hour before this assessment and still no bus so I was a little nervous I was gonna miss it but this bus eventually arrived and I swear to god he knew I was in a rush and you know what he did do you know what he did I'm gonna tell you he drove about five miles an hour for the entire journey like the trip's usually about a 20 minute ride anyway but this guy I mean he was driving as if he was stuck behind a tractor or something but he wasn't. Oh no, he was leading the traffic. Yeah, there was about a queue. There was a queue behind him because of how slow he was going. And honestly, I thought I was going to miss this exam. So, so did my friend. To be fair, because she was with me as well. And let me tell you something. If we weren't in a rush that day, I think she would have strangled him. To be honest, but he deserved it for being slow. Uh, so the moral of the story is: don't drive slow when I need to be somewhere important. Simple. Of course, he had no idea. At and he was just doing a job. But slow people drive me insane sometimes. You want to know something else that annoys me? When your phone freezes. Now, if it has a reason to, like you've opened up a high memory app or something, fair enough. But when it just freezes for no apparent reason, that's when I get annoyed. Like, I've mentioned it before, but my phone just likes to freeze. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't tell me when or where. But it's usually when I actually need my phone. Do I have bad karma? Maybe. Is there a higher being just playing a prank on me? Possibly. But I really, really dislike my phone when it just goes kaput on me, right? I'm not even sure I'm the only person to have this problem. I have a mental breakdown from it every time. And it just winds me up a lot, right? Oh, and something else as well. I know a lot of people don't like it when discs aren't in the right case or worse, right? When it's the wrong disc in the wrong case. And I feel like there's two kinds of people when it comes to this. People like me, who get very aggravated by the situation, and monsters. Like, who do you think you are to just mess up the balance of the universe and not put a disc back in the right box? And the ones that do that, fine, you carry on. You just, you just know you're wrong. I will hunt you down. I will make you sort out an entire chest of discs and boxes that'll take you days to sort out. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, of course. I'm getting you a whole lorry full. Because you need to learn your lesson. So you never do it again. <laughs> so, hmm, what else grinds my teeth? Oh, I know, right. People who eat ice. Or just just ice in drinks in general, right. I accept it if it's a hot summer's day and you need to co a cool, refreshing drink to soothe the throat. But any other time, just, just no. Like, it takes up space in my glass, which could have been used for more volume of my drink. It dilutes my Pepsi or Fanta and makes it less fizzy. And the condensation it creates on the outside of the glass just makes my hand wet 
and I have to dry my hand off every time I want to take a sip of juice, right? Oh, and eating eating it's nasty as well. Like I have a friend who knows he, I don't like it, so he'll play with it, the ice in his mouth in front of me. Like, dirty child, honestly. But I don't like the idea of biting or swirling it in your mouth. It just it just feels weird and cringy and wrong, you know? Like it's just gonna melt. Let it do its thing. Don't harass the ice. Leave it be, especially in public places. Because then I have to go give that apology look to other people. You know, you know that look where which says, I'm sorry my friend is being disgusting. But I didn't raise him, so blame his parents. You know, that kind of look. <laughs> now, I haven't really mentioned many OCD things yet, have I? Might be a useful thing to do in this video. Considering the words literally in the title. Hmm. Oh, right, so. I always triple check my pockets before I leave the house. And I have a tick list in my head, you know. You gotta pat, pat the keys, you gotta pat the wallet, pat the inhaler, pat the phone, check the wristwatch, check the headphones, you're good to go. Right? I still manage to forget something. Every time. Like, it's just routine now to, to miss something out. It's like when I've got to have an important letter. Or poo bags for the dog. Or just, you know, my actual phone. That's happened to me a few times. Oh, you know what else I do? I always avoid these like three square manhole thing covers, you know, you see on the street. You know the, you know the ones on the ground and they're like a rectangle split into three. I don't think they're called drain hole or maybe they are. I don't know really, but those things, right? I never stand on them if there's three of them. Two of them I'm fine with. And if I have to step on a th over a three split one, well, I have to walk on the next one to even things out, you know? Otherwise, I'm just open to the hell. That is bad luck. I remember one time I was I stepped <laughs> I stepped on one and fell over like 10 steps down the road, you know. I think it was because of bad luck. You know, these things give you bad luck. Well, that or the fact, you know, my shoelace was undone. But I'm putting my money on the luck thing, you know. Uh, I always have to have the volume on an odd number as well. And everybody has their own numbers for that thing, I've found. Like, some people like it odd, some even. They're wrong, by the way. Uh, some people just like to have it on one number and not change it at all. Oh, and you can't change it in front of people as well, otherwise they have a tantrum about it. But no, it needs to be odd, because things look better in odd. Therefore, things must sound better on an odd volume. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Just, just straight things, you know. Like frames and stuff, they just need to be straight, I guess. Um, some people are OCD about cleaning as well. Like, I lived with this one lass in the flat. We'd get about three showers a day, sometimes more than that. And that's a little bit too much for me. Like, one a day, maybe two, if it's been raining and you want to warm up. Or, you know, you've just done some sports or something like that. But not three. I know I've said things are better in odd numbers, but one is an odd number. And that's that's good enough, right? Let's not get carried away, shall we? Oh, and some people just need to clean the kitchen or the bathroom or the bedroom, like, non-stop. I'm not saying don't hoover and clean them every so often. You just shouldn't have to do it, like, every day, like, twice a day, you know? Maybe, like, two, three times a week if it bothers you that much. And unless they're trying to hide something, of course. Like, what if they killed someone? And they turned up the TV up to 26, or worse, 28, right? And then they had, like, no other choice but to get a pre-made ice dagger, Blue Peter style, like, here's one I made earlier, and and just kill them. But then they got to hide the evidence, so they chopped the dagger up into cubes, and then they put the ice cubes into everybody's drinks in the house. To, but to make it believable, right, you need to eat the ice out of some of them, otherwise it could look like a setup. So, they eat the ice, and then they clean everything, like everything. The kitchen sink, the inside of the bathroom taps, even hoovering the hoover with another hoover. A smaller hoover, maybe. Maybe that's why they have OCD and they just need to clean everything. Or maybe I've just overthought everything, and it sounds completely insane. I guess we'll never know. And with that, I think it's time to end today's episode. If you've enjoyed what you've heard today, let me know down below in the comments. And remember, enjoy a cuppa.